I had someone ask me the other day, why do I constantly set challenges? So I thought I'd answer that question via this video because I think a lot of people see me do some pretty weird stuff. <laughs> Whether I am fasting for 40 hours or 72 hours, just water, nothing else, or climbing a mountain and doing an Iceman experiment, or doing keto or calisthenics, whatever it is, it seems that I always have some sort of challenge on the go. So you're probably wondering, why? Why do I do this to myself? Why would I put myself through that pain of not eating for three days? That just makes no sense. Now. Why? Pretty simple. If we aren't growing, we're dying. If you aren't constantly challenging and growing and improving yourself, then maybe you're deteriorating. So what I like to do is I like to set myself challenges, like the minimalist challenge, where I decide I'm just going to live with, I think it was like maybe 50 pieces of clothing or 30 for 30 days. And that's it. And I just have the, 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 that, those clothes and nothing else. And it teaches you contrast. And this is actually the most important point. And I really want you to understand this. When you do a challenge and it is difficult for you, it gives you contrast in your life. Most of us nowadays, we're so normalized and everything is so easy that we never get contrast. We get stressed out when something like the Wi-Fi doesn't connect instantaneously and we can watch our movie on demand when we want it, exactly when we want it. But this gives you contrast. Contrast of, I'm gonna do a digital detox. Nothing for two days. And you realize, you know what? It's okay if I don't answer a message straight away. Or you give yourself this challenge of eating no food for two three days. Now I'm telling you now, when I feel hungry and I'm like, okay, but I did go three days without food. I realize, you know what? I'm probably not that hungry. It's not a big deal. When you start setting yourself challenges of sitting in the ice on top of a mountain in Italy, in shorts, and you're sitting there breathing, right? And when I had this, I'm sitting there breathing and I was like, now I'm cold. Previously, I thought I was cold. That wasn't cold. When I was sitting on the mountain, that was cold. Now I did breathing techniques, so it wasn't cold, but my feet were freezing. In fact, they were so cold, I'm not sure if I told you guys this. When I was on this mountain, my feet were so cold, I could not get them back into my boots. I actually couldn't, because my feet had swollen because it was that cold. It's pretty funny. So that gives me contrast. When I think about putting on my shoe or, or worrying about these small things, I realize, you know what? It's actually not a big deal. Contrast and challenges where you see different countries, you see how people live. It just gives you that ability to be humble and grateful for what you have. So really, even though I'm setting these challenges to push myself and exploring what I'm really capable of, it's also to create that contrast so that I can be so much more grateful for what I have right now. I challenge you to set some challenges in your life to do something a little bit different, whatever it is. Maybe it's a 30 day challenge to learn a new sport or a challenge to uh, fast for 12 hours, just water. Or you cut out chocolate for 30 days, see how you feel, no alcohol for a year. I don't know what it is, but my guess is if you're watching this, you probably like to set yourself challenges too. So I challenge you after this to set yourself a challenge or challenge me. I'll do any challenges. You know, comment, comment with some challenges that you think would be an interesting one for me to explore. If you genuinely think it would push me in a different direction, I'm happy to explore it. So with that said, I, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I have a feeling some of these challenges will be pretty weird, but that's okay. I'll, I'll have a look anyway. And I look forward to chatting to you soon.